this one. You're going to have to eat it slowly because it's too much and it's going to go over. <laughs> nah. The milky chops. <laughs> hey, milky drool. gross look at a milky drool on my hand <laughs> gross <laughs> hey no longer much a sky hey no longer much a sky I asked for people's opinions on blue or blonde I asked on here and on Instagram and at the minute blue is leading by two votes but it was like nine votes for one and eleven votes for the other or something so pretty compelling for both sides really so I'm not sure what I'm going to do I'm thinking I might just have like a blue stripe you know yeah you know. oh What a beautiful morning. It's full Friday. Which is for me both Friday and Sunday. Because I go to work tomorrow on selling on markets, of course. And just a reminder that there are no vlogs over the weekend. So if you've not had a chance to fully watch any of the ones during the week, there's a good chance. Um I still can't get that stupid song out of my head so I need to start singing something else because it's just annoying we've had our Friday treat had our coffee and they've had their puppuccinos and they did uh, Kevin does milky drool it's not his most attractive feature I'm not gonna lie milky drool I got all my timings wrong this morning. That's not like me. And uh, I ended up here half an hour early at the dog park. So I parked the van, put on my walking belt harness thing that I can attach the three leads to. Just a little walk around the field. Just a little walk around the field, which was quite pleasant. Gave them a chance to have a wee wee. And here we are. So yesterday um, the dog trainer came to meet the girls and we went out with Daphne first and we did see one dog and so she did bark and then we went round in a circle and came back and it was the same dog, boy. And uh, Duckley started barking and pulling on her lead and her lead broke. So she went running off to the dog. So the trainer got a very clear indication. She just barks at them and then when the dog barks back, she barks back. But she obviously didn't quite know what to do. So the trainer got a good idea and then we took, I took Daphne back and picked up Lucy and Lucy was as good as gold. Which just goes to show with Lucy, she's just a troublemaker. She just likes it if she can cause big trob. Because she saw another dog and was like, all right, <laughs> we're normally, she's absolutely feral. So, anyway, the dog trainer seemed lovely. She's not been doing it very long, but she was all very open and honest about the fact that she's not doing it very long, that she's learning under a mentor. Um... The, and the mentor helped her with her reactive dog so and she's now um, working with her 
to provide support to other people. So that was good. And she messaged me back in the evening to say she will quite happily work with the girls. More on recall and lead walking on a lead. She suggested that for Daphne's reactivity, I um, get in touch with the trainer that helped her, that's her actually now her mentor, and maybe have a one-to-one -one session with her. And then that would give me some idea of what to do. I'm, I'm looking down because I think Lucy's just been to the toilet and I'm looking to see if I can spot it. And all I can spot are daddy long legs. And I don't mind daddy long legs, but I do not like things what fly in my face. So if they flies in my face, I'm gonna scream like a girl. If they stay down, if they stay down, I'm all right. I mean, trying to see poo on brown grass is not easy. Anyway. So, yes, she suggested I have a one-to-one -one with her mentor who will give me some pointers for Daphne. She, the dog walker, would come along as well so she would see what, what the training was. Then we would all be on the same page. And the only downside is that the mentor is in Northampton. That's an hour away. But I like it. I like the fact that the dog train, the walker, got in touch with her mentor, talked through the issues, decided on the plan. So that's good. And she's going to start walking them the first week in October. Going to walk. Uh, so Daphne will get an hour and then Lucy will get an hour or vice versa. So that's good. It's not cheap. It's £20 an hour. But in terms of, you would pay £15 for a group dog walk. So £20 for a walk and train, I think it's really good. And then she's starting these weekend walks, which will be brilliant for me group walks so that's good so yeah it worked out quite well we saw a dog and she saw how they reacted she suggested that i always walk them separately which i thought yeah actually that makes a lot of sense and that get her loose get her whoa she thinks she's tough and i use their dog food for training purposes so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> October's tricky in that I've got big care for the whole month because his dad is going to get married. Ah, oh, getting married in South Africa because his fiance is South African. Did you see where that was going? So I've got care for the whole month in October, but that's okay. We'll make do. We will make do. Uh, so that's what happened yesterday. I didn't get nothing done in the studio yesterday. So today I need to get in there and do some stuff. I've got a massive £200 delivery coming from Cookson's Precious Metals. Uh, when it comes, it comes in like a tiny padded envelope. And you think, that's £200! <laughs> that's not even funny. But there you go. I've got loads of ideas at the moment. Loads of ideas for earrings. And I've got an idea for a brand new spinner ring, which I'm quite excited about, but also quite scared to get started with because it involves silver metal clay, which I know how to use, but haven't used yet. Anyway, so for our day, sun's shining and all is well. So I'll catch you later and we'll see what the day brings. All right. All right. What have you done to my ball? <laughs> what have you done to my ball? He doesn't look like a ball anymore. Are you ready? <laughs> Just need to
to issue a retraction statement. I think yesterday in yesterday's vlogs, I said that the girls was chasing pine martins. Pine martins are like meerkats. They wasn't chasing them. They was chasing some birds like house martins or swifts or swallows or gulps or tunting. That is the my apology and my retraction statement. Thanks. Welcome to my the end room slash workshop slash spare room slash thing what I am in. I uh, just two things. One is I'm really really happy. I've just been given a place at Nottingham Castle's Christmas Market. I was on their waiting list because I didn't get through the first round of applications. I was on their waiting list and I've just heard from the organiser this morning, Jake, he's just emailed me to offer me a table at an indoor marquee. So that's even better. No gazebos and worrying about whether they're going to blow over. Six foot table and a chair to go with it. A chair. Woo! I never sit down at market, so that'll be quite exciting to sit down. Uh, so that's fantastic. That's uh, the 30th of November and 1st of December. So it's two days. It's not cheap. It's £150 for the two days. But they're the same people that organise the A Up Market in the Market Square in Nottingham in whenever it was and in April. And I set my still unbroken world record for a day's takings. So that's good. And it's the first weekend, last weekend in November, first weekend in December. So that's good. Also, I thought I'd show you this. This light and flimsy parcel here cost me £200. <sighs> Tracked no signature. Fragile, it says. I thought I would show you what £200 buys you as a jewellery maker. I did get a little bit carried That's back in birth. I did get a little bit carried away with ordering sterling silver beads of different types and descriptions, which I'm not sure you'll be able to see. Oh, you do get some free paper, so that what? Free paper? Nakiba! You get a piece of paper what tells you all of the things what you buy did. So we can have a look. It doesn't tell you the price on there. Oh, it does, value. So, but I think it's value minus VAT. And inside are lots and lots of little envelopes. So this will be one of the most expensive things. This is sterling silver sheet. Even though it looks like wire, it's actually sheet. But I asked for it to be uh, 10 millimetres wide and 500 millimetres long. So one centimetre by 50 centimetres. It's 0 0.8 thick. So that and that cost me £45. That cost me £45 plus VAT. So that's that. That was one of the most expensive things. What else? Oh, what's that? What's that? What's that? This is a oh, hard silver solder. So we use, to solder the metal together, here you go. Um, we use pallions of solder, which is just small like squares of solder. It comes like this, so it looks like silver, but it isn't, this is actually solder. So we cut it, we flatten it a little bit, we cut it into um, little chunks, and then this is what you melt to join the metal together. Oh no, it's popped out of that. So it, it's quite thick when it comes, so I need to take it to the jewellery school and run it through their rolling mill and flatten it. I am saving up for a rolling mill of my own, but they are not cheap. And apparently the cheap ones aren't worth buying. So, ooh! Uh, some more free paper, so that one. And my new... I'm really into it. I want to get my finishing better and better and better. So I have bought quite a few of these. Let's look in where I can put them. These are sanding rolls. And they're, that you, as the outer gets worn off, I don't know how I'm not. Excuse the state of my hand, it's not as bad as it usually is. 
and then you just peel the outer layer off and then it reveals another layer of sanding. This is uh, 280 grit and what that means is um, there are 280 grains of sand per centimetre squared. So the more grains of sand there are per centimetre squared, the higher the, excuse me, the higher the polish. They're called matador sander rolls, which is quite good because they've got, like you tear off the cake. Two more here. These are 800. So there are 800 grains of sand. I really like them. They're very, very good. And because a lot of what I do, because I do rings, um, it's really hard to get the inside and I really want the inside to be as good as it can be. Some more sand rolls. So they, what have I got? 280, 800. These are 2,000. So there are 2,000 little grains of sand. Because they come in handy. So they're 2,000s. So it's getting really, you can't tell that it's sandpaper by the time you're using that. Here's another one. This is 180, so that's quite rough. So that's 180, 280, 800, and 2,000. I think I did get some. I think I got another one. Another one. Yeah. What is 1,200? Which goes in the middle. I got two of them. So. It's so time consuming because you got you have to basically for each item I have to go up through. So you start with 280, then you do this exact same thing again with um, 800, do the whole thing again with 1200, do the whole thing again with 2000, um, and then you can start using your polishing compounds. This is why it takes so long. This is why it's um, quite expensive to do silver jewellery because it's very time consuming. This is sterling silver round wire and it's one millimetre thick. It's fully annealed and that means it is bendy. So it's easily bendable. So you have to harden it to make jewellery out of it. Let's see how much this was. Sterling silver. This this was 20 quid, this little bit of wire. I'm going to put it back in there until I put it in its proper little box. Otherwise, I will get confused. Oh, some more sanding ones. 400. So I've got some 400. So I've got 280. No, 180, 280. Oh, that's good. The more gradual the steps, the higher, the, the better the quality of the finish. And it's so much easier than doing it by hand. Oh, excuse me. Philip. I'm back. It was an order, an Amazon order of dog treats. <clears throat> okay, so the sander rolls vary in price. No, the phone's ringing. Oh, that was a doctor ringing about an appointment for my dad right this believe it or not is also sterling silver sheet um it's 0.8 millimeters thick but i wanted it so i've asked them to cut pre-cut the sheet to that for me i don't know if it's going to work but i have an idea the ducky bear. It's just ducky bear. No more! Oh, you know what that means. Squirrels in the garden. They go berserk. That noise of screaming like she was being tortured was Daphne seeing a squirrel in the back garden because squirrels, we don't even know. They're like evil or something because the dogs go berserk. Yes, looking at it now, I don't know if it's going to be possible. 
but I had an idea about making rings but it's fully annealed so it's very flexible so not sure but we will see what happens anyway but but there but why sterling silver eight millimeter that cost me 22 pound nothing you get nothing and then these are the beads that i got carried away with thinking the beads aren't that expensive i don't suppose oh what did i buy there these are going to be too small for you to see oh i don't know what i'm going to do with them they're going to melt I don't know whether you can see. Can you see? It's like a lace cage type thing. Beautiful silver beads. They're beautiful. That's what I needed to go to B and M for. B holder. Oh, I've got that thing that Kirsten sent me. Kirsten sent me. That is blooming perfect. Oh my god, I can't believe I nearly went to B and M. <laughs> oh, get them bad boys in here. Get them bad boys in here. So, sterling silver seven millimeter net beads. Pack of ten. In my new thing. Thank you very much, Crispin McNinch. What else we got? I get carried away, he says. And this morning, Crookson's have sent me an email with a it's Friday the 13th, so have a 10% discount on us. These are again, let me put the rest of them in there before I drop them all over because they are sterling silver, so they're not cheap. It's going to be too small. I don't know how you can see. They're twists. They look like cough candy twists, but they're made out of silver. What? What are these? These are tube beads. Hmm. I think I may have ordered the wrong rods. Oh, they're in a little bag. They're tube beads. They are the wrong ones. Because I never read the descriptions. I just look at the pictures. And the pictures don't tell you how big they are. These are oval beads. Beautiful. Can show you that. Maybe you'll be able to see. It's too small and my fingers are hiding it. Again, all sterling silver. These are rondelle beads. No idea what that is. Ooh, they're like flying saucers. They're small. Do I like them? Don't know. Honestly, I just go on and go, yeah, I'll have one of them, four of them, seven of them. There's some more cough candy twist type ones, but they're a lot longer. Intriguing. There you go. And that, that was £200. You know what I need to stop doing? Buying. You know what I need to start doing? Selling. You know what that's called? Business. Hmm. Need to do some of that business stuff. Right. I'm going to get on and do some making so that I can do some selling. I'll show you what I make. 